Hello, beta testers. In their very first patch of 2022, incompetent Marvel's Avengers developer Crystal Dynamics have decided not to add content, but to nerf defense, nerf Cosmic Surge so it heals for less, and have confirmed in their echo chamber of a Discord that they plan to nerf damage next. Huh. This should be cause for celebration among the shills who have been begging for this sort of thing forever. But don't take my word for it. I always felt like, and maybe this can be echoed elsewhere, is that damage buff needed to be nerfed. I'm gonna say it. Damage buff needed to be nerfed. Right. I'm glad that some group is actually getting what they want, even if those groups would honestly take anything they're given and consider it a dub. However, people with a brain easily recognize lazy developers making superheroes weaker again and again and again and again and again now 17 months after launch is because they're trying to slow down how fast players progress you know as foretold in the kyle prophecy but instead of giving players new things to do or other ways to do them this is top priority second only to shitty recolored skins that you're trying to charge people for they buff robot shields reduce superhero defense and attack in an attempt to artificially increase difficulty so kills like this don't happen a competent superhero game by competent developers would never forget that feeling powerful is kind of the whole last point of a game like this. But Crystal Dynamics' goal is to make sure everyone can get insta-killed, and with stun locks as obnoxious as the ones this game serves up, I can already hear the defenders rejoicing because their favorite hero can now be on their knees, just like them. But here go to problem. When you invalidate the time players spend hoping for the right drop to complement the very few builds that are even worth using, then you sabotage those builds and add no new content, expecting people to play the same garbage. And here's the funny part, neither of the two endgame modes you have in your game after 500 days even work. After 500 days, to call the people making the decisions at Crystal Dynamics jackasses would be insulting to the donkey. I used to think the people involved with these decisions should be ashamed of themselves, but now I'm more worried that their brains won't remember to keep them breathing. Crystal Dynamics, your deranged and baffling demonstrations of how not to make money with a Marvel property is awe-inspiring, and I didn't think it possible for you to dig past bedrock in your furious struggle to prove that you're somehow dumber than the average defender. We don't feel sorry for you anymore. We're sorry we have to share the same planet with you. If you don't want people playing your game anymore, say so. Don't keep sabotaging your own game. Don't kick Spider-Man, you fucking villain. You're sick, and this is sick. Congratulations! 15 months after launch, you dropped a buggy raid, bringing your endgame modes up to a whopping two. Two modes, neither of which work. You wasted dev stream after dev stream hyping up your credentials and the amount of time that you've spent on a raid that still doesn't work two months later. Your resume doesn't fucking matter because your product is broken. How long you've spent working on this doesn't matter because people with COVID have better taste than to cocoon the long lasting legacy of Marvel in poop the way you have so thoroughly done. Hulk and Hulkbuster getting stun locked because you can't design? Something wrong with you and I'm just going back the hell up, keep the camera rolling and hope to God that these shills don't lose their minds because they have a problem with facts. Don't they have anti-vax meetings to show up to or something? Jesus Christ. I would never condone violence or hostility, but I want people asking you genuinely, literally, what the hell is wrong with you? Community manager, in name only, Andy Wong is hitting that zero communication on Twitter, Twitch, and even on the subreddit that he is for some reason a moderator on in a clear conflict of interest, as people's posts as tame as why is a Spider-Man this height are still getting removed. But remember to heed Kyle's example. Don't spit facts on that fucking subreddit because some degenerate, lonely, identity-confused weirdo will deep-throat your fucking name because you talk facts on video game and that's toxic. Immerse yourselves in the sludgy, fecal soup that is Marvel's Avengers. And remember, 
that they didn't have to make these changes, but they did anyway. And some of the people in what try so desperately to be the only real community beg for this kind of shit, defend this kind of shit, and they sleep in shifts to throw more cringe onto the fire to keep it roaring in that dumpster. Ooh, milk them for all they've got. You'll buy these recolors, you fat bitch. Mmm, you like that? Remember when Crystal Dynamics nerfed progression before putting in XP boosters that you could pay for and claimed that players said that skills were too confusing and overwhelming? You know, players asked for this. Well, that kind of brain damage to take isn't even parody anymore because the types of soy-drenched weirdos that Crystal gravitates towards are really peddling the narrative that expecting games to work 500 days after launch is excessive and that you should pick one, gamers. Jeez, you want content and for the game to work? Ugh, these things take time. Gulp, gulp, gulp. What I've shown is a fraction of my personal footage from the raid that consistently crashes on startup, during matchmaking, or bugs and crashes by the very end of the encounter so nobody can complete it and their time is wasted. To anyone who couldn't possibly have known how broken this game was because of the slurping bastards deliberately omitting the positively atrocious state of this game, I apologize on behalf of a studio that has no capacity to feel shame. I'm sorry that you've wasted your time and I I am equal parts heartbroken and impressed by your perseverance in reloading checkpoints, trying to fight a poorly developed nightmare, only to get to the end and have it all be bugged or glitched or not progress until everyone leaves. Even if only one person listens, I will tell your story, and no fact-fearing monkey will stand between me and it, beta testers. I cannot tell you to stop playing this game, but if you do, Please make sure you sub and join the Discord so that I get every video of bugs that you encounter. I don't care what some shill seated on a dildo dynamic sent them cheers for in the way of lackluster recolors or hair that's so poorly executed that of course Fortnite effortlessly does it better. Without backup saves and checkpoint reloads, this game is literally unplayable. Without join and progress, the raid is even more a waste of time when you factor in the loot designed by a moron bad loot in a looter, no variety in villains or gameplay, paid content that locks itself to consumers, but shh, don't talk about it. That's where the player base went. That's why there's less than 500 people playing this on PC at any given time, and if it were to go free to play right now, you'd only end up with more Kyle's and need more volunteer human centipedes to moderate the subreddit and try to hide all of the real sentiments from non-NPCs. That whipped slave mentality that seems to be the preference in the Avengers community is beneath you, beta tester, and I'm thankful that you have a brain not to accept niggas scared of vagina calling you toxic. Thankfully, I'm not allergic to the truth, I'm not blinded by a crotch in my face, nor am I trying to remain appealing to whatever stepfather or Catholic priest that's teaching people how to bend over and keep secrets like a good boy. Exotics still don't even have a chance to drop anywhere. The raid could easily have been programmed to throw players a bone with periodic rewards or even checkpoints the way the repetitive Mega Hive does, but that's too much to ask. So what if the cringe fest of standing in circles and pressing buttons at the same time that CD calls a raid is not fixed? You shouldn't complain. You should get hyped for Lady Thor or Lady Hulk or, um, you know, like a Black Widow clone. Marvel's Avengers is run by real life villains. And the only way this stops is if you keep it real. How do you think they'll drop the ball next?